So what's going on YouTube, my name is Meho and welcome to your 28th React Native tutorial in which we're going to talk about navigation in a React Native application because trust me, most of the apps you have used so far apart from Calculator I believe which we just created in the last few tutorials do have some sort of other pages, right? For example, if you're browsing like Facebook so the first page you can see is the login activity or you can say the login page the next one you, after you log in you see your feed you can go to your profile you can change some settings so all of those are separate pages mostly so that kind of means and actually you can see on the Facebook that you have three buttons as well on the top so you click on them so that's kind of all that sort of thing is called as a whole navigation so you're navigating around the app right so you need to add navigation to your react native app if you want to make it you know interactive and user friendly basically so what we have right now is that uh, if we take a look inside the docs you should be able to see that for navigating between the screens you see react does not come um, baked with a default navigation system right react has just offloaded it to <clears throat> third parties so there are a couple of popular ways to actually um, do react native navigation and uh, not this one I believe uh, yeah the first one is from Wix right so these guys have done quite some work here it's cool but what I use <coughs> personally in my applications is react native navigation so react native navigation so um, there it is so I use this navigator in my applications which I create with react native <coughs> and personally um, I find it a bit more easier and customizable you can say react native navigation okay it is customizable but not as much as the react navigation version 2 is right so if you want to stick around with this these tutorials i guess you can just go with react navigation otherwise you can run parallelly with this one as well most of the upper concepts are similar like you know routes and activities and stuff like that but uh, there would be differences in implementation and customization and options and all that stuff so i would just recommend you to stick to Re react navigation so um to actually get started with it what we need to do is just go to github right and we would be able to see how we can set up this right so you just have to install it as a package so right here if you see we do not have anything and by the way this terminal is uh, item with set sh so you can just google it it's quite easy to set up so just customize the terminal a little bit so that it feels good so um okay let's just do react native init um navigation so this would create a react native project for us which would be named as navigation and uh, We'll, we'll just add packages into it from that point <clears throat> all right guys our application is set up so let's just navigate into it and if we take a look this is how our application is looking like right now right so these are let me just get back to the bottom here so um, we have our app.js as usual android folder for android builds app.json contains the information about the application in json index.js is the entry point ios is for ios applications node modules obviously and package.json so let's just paste our <coughs> thing so we would hit enter which would actually install the react navigation package and after that we would be able to access things like stack navigator or draw navigator or basically all that cool features which you have seen so far in the other apps like uh, <clears throat> all those transitions when you click a button 
the page changes smoothly to another thing right or when you have like drawers swiping from the left of the screen I'm talking about the Android people right here for iOS I haven't I do not have a lot of idea because I have not used iOS um, actually as a physical device so yeah there we go so we have our project set up right here we can see let me just zoom in here a little bit so again we have a nice little green project but now we would be able to make use of react navigation to do different stuff so that's all for the setup part in the next tutorial onwards from the next tutorial onwards we're going to take a look at how to actually use some of the things and see them in action so that's all for this video i'll see you then in the next one